Hello everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the education process. The school colleges institutions shut all across the world. Globally 1.2 billion students are out of the classroom. As a result, education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise of e-learning. Whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. So online is the new normal. And you know that final year examination has to be done within 18th of October. And not only that, you have to upload the marks within that. That is the directive by the university and as well as by the UGC. So it is very difficult job for the teachers. Uh, in this very short time of span to evaluate so many scripts, especially for the humanities group of teachers. They have to evaluate uh, large number of scripts because of their large number of students, history, Bengali, etc. So it is very difficult to check online. So today, I specially focused on a very special video for my colleagues that is devoted and that is, that is to ease the way of checking. So today, especially, I will talk about a software that is a journal app. So if you search in the, uh, if you write in the Google journal, plus plus. And if you enter, you will find This is the this is the GitHub is the developer. Many softwares have been developed by GitHub. There are a lot of people are working over there. So if you click on this pop up, you will go to the site. This is the site, and you can see Journal Plus Plus is a handwriting notebook taking software with PDF annotation support, written in C plus plus with GTK three supporting Linux and Mac. OS and Windows. So a lot of things and supports pen input from devices such as Wacom tablets also. And if you go down, scroll down, you will find a lot of things you can do. You uh, you can draw the diagrams. Uh, you can annotate. So uh, there are the features. These are the features. You can go through the features very quick. Support for pen pressure, Wacom tablet, support for annotating PDFs, fill shape functionality pdf export png export also without transparent background allow a map different tools colors latex support the most interesting part interesting part is latex support this is for scientific mm, people they know about the latex writing so also a lot of things you can do okay you can draw circles line arrow shape drawings are also possible and it is available for mobile and web app also. Get it in the Google Play. This is available. You can see. And you can check your journal online. So you have a Linux, Windows, Mac, Journal++ Plus Plus for mobile, you see. And lastly, you can find out uh, installation. You want to install the app. So you go to the release page. So if you go to the release page, already I opened for you. So you will see the latest version of Journal++ Plus Plus, that is 1.0.18. You can scroll down, you will get a lot of, lot of applications over there. So if your machine is a 64 bit machine, if it is a laptop, if it is a desktop, no problem. You can click here, you can download and you know that as usual the, all the softwares are installed, you can install this in your system. And if it is a 32 bit machine, you can find out, you can write only journal instead of journal plus plus. You have to write journal instead of journal plus plus if it is a 32 bit machine. Before you install, please check your machine. If you go to the properties, uh, the PC, right click on the PC, you will show it will show you the properties. You can check the properties here. Just wait a few seconds to let me show you. Uh, so if it is a 32 bit machine no problem you can install the journal and for 64 bit bit machine also it is very good to work 
in the 64 bit machine so it's not showing here okay let's try uh, yeah this is the system yeah so look at that my system is uh, for uh, 64 bit machine 64 bit operating system so okay you can check that before you install and accordingly you can go through that so after the installation it is already installed in my system so you can open it like this this is the journal page you can change the page layout just click on that you want if you want a plain paper you can take a plain paper here okay you can take a plain paper you can add here the pages we can add the pages look at that I have added a page here so it's added and you can draw something here you can write you can mention some text comments on that the final year exam you can write okay in this way you can circle this you can change the color like this you can draw circles and there is a, some shape draw rectangle draw circle draw arrow draw line you can draw the coordinate system also you can draw the coordinate system also so just like this you can draw the coordinate system by introducing this one and, and you it's better to have a stroke recognizer because that will recognize your stroke suppose you have a curved line it can make straight line okay so that is how you can do that lot of things you can do here you can go through the options you can uh, um, maximize the screen or you can minimize the screen you can delete whatever you erase whatever you write suppose you're writing the exam today you're writing this so you want to erase you can erase this one so anything you can do here so let me open a page suppose the exam papers uh, uh, the students actually they have to send the papers answer scripts in a one PDF format in the same email ID from which the questions will be forwarded to them uh, so uh, you have to download the papers so uh, suppose you have downloaded the you have you have to make a folder for that and you have downloaded the folder okay so let me show you how to open yeah this is another journal page so let me open the page so I have made a folder in my system for the exam papers so I have written here uh, let's go to the D folder so look at that CU final year exam this is the folder I was talking about so I made a folder here all the downloaded answer scripts are kept in this folder okay so let me open a page suppose let me open a page and that they, they have written their paper like this their roll numbers underscore their paper name so let me open a page paper this is the question answer sheet which uh, which they have sent to us so you can check it if there is any error you can mark them by a red color this is the marking and this is okay so you can put a tick and if this is wrong you can put a circle over there and you can make some comments on the screen not correct with red suppose you want a red so you can write not correct okay and finally you can put some marks here so if this is correct you can put a marks 4 plus okay this is the marks in the first question next in the case 1 you can put some marks if it is a wrong you can put a circle over here this is not correct you can mention something or you can write the answer here by checking also you can annotate or maybe you are wrong over there you want to delete and you want to recheck the marks suppose this will be 5 plus so you can make a changes over there okay so this is how you go through the things so this is the 
thing you can do lot of things here you can highlight the portion this is the highlighter it's better to have some uh, pen pen is very useful you can draw you can tick and finally you can marks put your marks here total score total is 5 plus 3 like this just randomly I'm just doing showing you so you can put the total marks here 40 okay this is the total and you can put your signature here or no, not needed if you put the signature by any software it is okay or you can put your signature like this you can put the date also right you can put the date also so this is how you can check your scripts okay and the most important thing is you want to save it so save export as a pdf you want to save or you can put uh, save as a journal so if you uh, save as a journal you can change that but if you export as a pdf it will be fixed so let let me export as a pdf in that folder so i'm exporting that pdf so let me write rename that file uh, checked so that you can uh, distinguish between the checked and unchecked so this is checked and you can save so this completes your process okay so this is how this uh, app is very very useful so uh, I think this video will be helpful for my colleagues please share among your friends whoever in a school colleges universities because a lot of people have to check the scripts in the online mode because this is the new normal and thank you all of you for your patience. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you.